I'm Natalia. And I'm Maddie. Welcome, Welcome back, back to another Cam and Dad video. <laughs> I don't think they're ripe yet. Who's yeah. making all that racket? Can I, can I have some? <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi. Can I have an apple? Hey, hey. Alright, here's your homework. I think the diaper bag's still in the car. <laughs> Eating it out. These are very small. I'm going to my grandma and grandma to drop this off to my grandma. We miss mother today. For her. What kind of math is Al Gore's favorite? Algebra. Algorithms. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just got it up there. Alright. This is a Minecraft song. If you guys have Amazon Music, put on Minecraft Music. You're telling your mom not to drop it? Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god. Just found him right there. <laughs> like, whenever you zoom into Bruno, he's like, he looks like he's normal. Where did he go? Oh! Boutte, da boutte, da boutte. Boutte, da boutte, da boutte. Okay, it's Monday and I'm finally back. Sunday was a bad day. I was sick most of the day and kind of laying around on the couch all day. I didn't do much of anything. I basically slept all day. I had a really bad migraine and I don't know if anyone has those, but it was just really bad. And then this morning I go to look around for my camera and I can't find it and Cam was playing with it while I was sick. So Monday morning I couldn't find it when I went to leave. We ended up not going to my mom's house yesterday for Mother's Day. We ended up just stopping there today after school. And now we have to go to Starbucks. So we got Camden's teacher a gift card to Starbucks and we sent the wrong one to school. We have to send another card. It's Tuesday morning. And your hair's a mess. Really? All right. Garage all cleaned out with all the room. If I could pause time. What do I think you would do? Yeah. What would you do? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> That's what it's gonna say. Really? <laughs> with that face. It takes so long to get out of the car. Alright, while it was paused, you would what? Um, play video games. So I did my favorite players of all time, and now I think I'm going to go into who I think is currently the five best players of all time. I'm actually pulling into the school. See you later. Tuesday after school. Cut it out. Picking up Laney. Getting home for Cam. Then leaving for basketball. I got my top ten for today. I tried to do top Five is too hard. It was easier for me to do ten. My top ten list for this week. So number ten, Hakeem Olajuwon from the Rockets. He led the Rockets team in those two years to the championship. He got finals MVP both years. Nine, Wilt Chamberlain. His career playoff stats are insane. 22.5 points per game in the playoffs. 24 and a half rebounds per game in the playoffs. He had two NBA titles himself, uh, four regular season MVPs to round out his career. At seven, I have Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I mean, when you have six NBA titles, two of which you were the finals MVP of, that that's says enough in my book. Now the list starts getting more current. I mean, they, they're kind of interchangeable at six and seven. At seven, I put Larry Bird. Larry had three NBA titles, two finals MVPs, and then he had three regular season MVPs. I had to give Magic Johnson the edge on this. Magic Johnson, number six, with five NBA titles and three finals MVPs, and he also had three regular season MVPs as well. 
and at five I have Tim Duncan. He was just the glue that held San Antonio together for a long time. Four NBA titles, three finals MVPs, two regular season MVPs. Uh, number four, Shaquille O'Neal, four NBA titles, three finals MVPs, and he had one regular season MVP. So up until now, I can see an argument again for a lot of those guys going up or down a couple positions. I put LeBron James currently at number three. LeBron has three championships right now. He's lost more times in the finals than I think he should have. I mean, LeBron still has room for improvement. He's still got years to win a couple more championships. For him to surpass one or two for me, he would have to do just that and win at least one more championship. At number two, Kobe Bryant. The mentality Kobe Bryant has is one that every NBA player should strive for. Just the killer instinct, win at all costs. Michael Jordan is number one. Again, after he lost to Detroit in the finals, he never lost again. I think the biggest reason there is an argument is just because a lot of kids today didn't have the opportunity to see him do what he was doing. I just remember watching him game after game. If they were down, he would flick a switch and just take the game over. He, he almost became unstoppable. And I again, you see that with players now. You can see it in LeBron James. He does it occasionally. These guys show it here and there. Michael was doing it every single night. Six championships, six finals MVP, five regular season MVP, God knows how many all-star appearances. His accolades speak for themselves. That's my top 10 list. I'm pulling in the subdivision to get Laney here in a second, and then we're heading home to grab Camden. I'm headed back to Maryville for basketball conditioning. So we'll see you there. Yeah. So I already went home and picked up this kid. Oh, ha. Let's try. Don't lock me out. Good work today. Feeling a little achy. Hope I'm not getting sick. Yeah, Camden did really good. Probably one of the best practices he's had in a long time. To see him taking steps forward every time we practice. So, yeah. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Wednesday morning. Still don't feel the greatest. Throat doesn't feel very good. I feel tired and achy. Yeah, so it's a flip-flop morning, so I have Miss Lainey, saying hi. Saying hi. Because my mom has Wednesdays off, so instead of having to pay a babysitter, we can just drop her off at my parents' house. See you later. Flip-flop day, so I gotta go pick up Lainey from my parents, and then we'll head home. What you doing? Got home from school, relaxed, we made dinner, and then I got a text about some basketball. Normally, at this point in the night, I would say, nah, but I'm tired of hearing some of these kids talk. I'm heading up to a park in Crown Point to destroy these kids. 
All right, I just got home. I wish I would have filmed some of it. I completely forgot to grab my camera. Definitely dominated some high school kids. Vlog 11. What? It's vlog 11. I thought it was Wednesday. It's Thursday. You forgot to film last time. Crap. So Cam, who are your top five NBA players of all time? LeBron James in third, Steph Curry in second, and Michael Jordan first. Into this this unfamiliar building that we've never seen before. See? Beacha. getting towards the end of the school year. I have quite a bit of seniors right now. A lot of a lot of my students will tell me that they have summer jobs lined up. I get the return question of like, what did I do? do I, did I have a, ever have a summer job? And I did. I have some pretty good stories about it. So I worked at Deep River Water Park. I worked there for a long stretch of time. I'm gonna put this uh, story on pause. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Thursday after school, just got out of professional development. I actually had a really good speaker. We usually have basketball. However, um, we ended up canceling it today. But I do have a basketball game now that I can make it to. I do have a basketball game. Let's see if I can remember to get it all set up so I can record our gameplay. Heading to my game. Say, let's go. Thursday night, back from my basketball game later in the evening. So I had Amanda record the game and the camera after 25 minutes automatically shuts down and it'll actually shut the camera off if you don't touch anything. Well, she was recording, it shut it off and she just assumed the camera died. So at halftime I looked over and she said, yeah, the camera ran out of batteries. I was confused because it was fully charged and usually it lasts longer than that. And then I realized after the game was over, on our way home, that the camera automatically shuts down. So when I got home, turned it on, it still had 50% battery. I knew that, I, I don't know why, I, I forgot. I was only able to get the first half, but again, I played well in the first half. We ended up winning like 60 to 40. I think they only had 40 exactly, so we won by 20 plus points. Finally got some basketball action before that. This is where I'm gonna end the vlog. It's Thursday night again since we had the whole debacle of Sunday into Monday, not having the camera, loss of a little bit of time and footage. And today, I'm gonna send it over to some LC girls for the outro. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. As always, deuces. deuces.